couple of first scorers from Mike Lansing at first. Two, David Segui rips one to deep center field. It's off the wall. Lansing will score. Segui will get a triple. Segui would score on a sack fly to give Montreal a 2-0 lead. And he would leave the game with a right-hand string cramp. Then it was all Pedro Martinez. Eric Davis. Or major league meetings cannot what are you looking at? Chad Matola, it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Ninth inning, Martinez gets Hal Morris to catch the Vapors. Then Pedro fans, Eddie Talbot see to end it. A career high 11 strikeouts for Martinez. Expos win. So the post shot era begins with a loss for the down. Before the game, Avalanche coach Mark Crawford throws the first pitch to Patrick Wall. And Wall calls it a strike. Bottom of the first, man on third. Mike Williams facing Ellis Burks. Burks hits the deep shot. Off the wall and right, Jim Eisenreich has trouble with it. Burks has motors. We have a play. He's safe. Two nothing Rockies, the first inside the park home run ever at Coors Field. Then top of the fourth, two men on. Mike Lieberthal gets strong to left. Tight end four, six of the season for Lieberthal. Bottom of the fourth, 5-4 Phillies. Eric Young pops up the short center. Mickey Morandini and Glenn Murray. Look out! They collide. Vinny Castilla scores. We're tight at five after a little medical attention. Both players would leave the game. Bottom of the six, game tied at six. Trinidad Hubbard. Goes the other way, doubles right off the field. wall, scoring Jason Bates, who is truly the master of his domain. Of Rockies up 7-6, they go on to win the ball game. Ellis Burks makes history with the first in Cardinals. Bottom two, Cardinals leading 4 nothing. Ozzy Smith lines one to right center. Lance Johnson comes up but misses the cutoff man. Todd Stoudemire scores. Smith slides into second. Smith tells Mets shortstop Ray Ardonias that the Mets need to remember fundamentals. Bottom eighth, Bates is loaded. And that's a slapjack. Gary Gaetti to left for the grand slam. Gaetti's sixth homer of the year as the cards win. So it was the night of the G-men in St. Louis. Gant with the explosive return. Game trouble for Musina early. Mike McFarlane takes him deep to left. A solo shot. McFarlane's fourth career home run against Musina and 25 at bats. One nothing Royals. But the O's answer in the third. Two on. Luis Polonia. Triples into the gap in left center. Coyles and Anderson. Brady Anderson. They score 2 1 Orioles. Polonia would score on the sack fly. After the fifth inning, the game is official. Royals fans and Kino Gasa salute Ripken for consecutive game number 22 16. A new world record. Oh, still up in the eighth. And on for Anderson. Bye bye. Deep to left for his 22nd home run. A new career high. O's of 5 1. And Cal in a record-setting night as the Royals win. So Mr. Mr. Ripken gets to break the world record in style with a win, even though he was Eddie Martinez up there from Tacoma in Jay Buhner's spot. Cup to the first, he's tested. Moot on the bat, drills one to right. Martinez goes back, but the ball goes off the wall. Frank Thomas scores one nothing White Sox. Top of the third, tied in one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are no longer tied at one. Frank Thomas crushes his 19th homer to left center. Solo job, 2-1 White Sox. Same Chicago defense. Top third, Alex Rodriguez grounded to second. Ray Durham to Ozzie Guillen. 4-6-3 double play. More Guillen, bottom of six. So grounder off, Wilson Alvarez's glove. Guillen bare hands and throws the first. This Seattle team loses 4-1. And in the ball game, Al Mike Flowers. Flowers wait. Sit on it, Potsy. No hits through the first two innings. In the second, Ryan Kless goes in a one for 17 slump. I guess that's a slump buster. Takes Pedro Astacio deep to center, number 21 of the year for Big Ryan, one nothing Braves. Smoltz in trouble in the third. Raul Mondesi, this should be a double play. The normally sure-handed Chipper Jones boots it. Everybody's safe, so Smoltz takes care of business. Gets Eric Carroll looking, tries to pick off Roger Cedeno. Man, when it's going right, it's going right. Hits Cedeno in the back and nail Cedeno headed for third. Flowers, sit on it, Jenny Piccolo. We've got to raise our Happy Days trivia a notch. Eight Ks for Smoltz, and John would help himself with the leather. The old one, six, three off the bat of Juan Castro, and Smoltz cruises to his 13th straight win, 3-1 the final. With those eight strikeouts, he now leads the show with 120. Going the stick, first inning, Mike Hampton pitching to Steve Scarsoni. Little duck snort out there, and Derek Bell. No bloop for you. 4-1 Astros in the sixth. William Van Landingham to Craig Biggio, and it's gone. Two-run shot is seventh of the year. Biggio went two for five. Astros up 6-1. In the ninth, Jeff Bagwell already has three doubles, and you can make it four. 
Bill Spires will chug around to score. Bagwell's fourth double of the game ties a major league record. He was 4 of 5 on the ninth. He averaged up to 339. And as for the Giants pitchers, that of course means, in their case, no soup for you. Giants lose at 9 1. Timing was quite good and against Eddie Murray. Derek Jeter is the truth. Starts the sixth, four, three double play. Get good and out of it. Tied at one in the third. Andy Fox on second. Wade Boggs lifts the fly out to Manny Ramirez and right. Manny's got the ball, if not his balance. And Fox hustling all the way. Just turns on the Jets, keeps running. He's in there. Scores all the way from second, two, one Yanks. In the sixth, someone in the crowd threw a ball at Bell. Mike Hargrove comes out. Bell talks it over with second base up Larry Young. Ball boy takes the souvenir bat and it was thrown on the field and the fans are warned. Same inning, bases loaded, tied it to Derek Jeter. Did it with his glove, does it with his bat. Two runs will score. Joe Girardi, however, gets a little greedy and he's out by about a mile and a half. Now in the seventh, Boggs up again and some of the brain dead contingent strikes again. Lofton picks up a stray ball in center. Hey, it doesn't matter if you like Bell or not. This is totally out of line. Stuff being thrown on the field. Hargrove called his team in. The Indians would go back. But Albert and his teammates come up short. For big debut, Domingo Cedeno's out there, and the former Nebraska punter shows some hang time. Makes the great catch to Rob Cedeno. Blue, Blue Jays jump out to an early lead, and Joe Carter, three-run job. His 14th of the year, Toronto has a 4-0 lead. Angels would come back. It's tied at four in the third. Tim Wall goes with it, gets all of it. You can put it on the board, yes. It's not a White Sox highlight, but we love the Hawk anyway. 7-4 the final. The Angels win their sixth straight.